this very lovely lunch. So nice. I feel like that might have to come home with me. So this is a new addition to our flat. Everybody, how are we all? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and to this is going to be a weekly vlog. I'm in London with you and hello. hello. We've just had a lovely coffee at Gills and um, we're having a nice day in town today, yeah. aren't we? First off, the lovely little visit that I've never been to this year is Primark and it's the it's not the flagship, is it in London? Oh no, it is. Is it? Or is the other one? Oh, There's I don't two, know. There? there is two. Yeah. Basically, we're outside Primark, although there's a van in the way. Um, and we're going to have a look at the homeware. So it's going to be a nice little chill vlog, and then we've got some lunch after this at um, Balthazar. Well. Balthazar, 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 Balthazar
amazing. Dessert has arrived. Oh my sweet Jesus, it's a gigantic macaroon filled with um, Chantilly cream, pistachio and vanilla ice cream. How beautiful, it's like a work of art. I'm gonna go into the taste test. What is the best way to eat something that big? <laughs> Too good macaron. Mm. France, I love you. So we've just finished up lunch. It's like a late lunch, but it's more like you were just behind. <laughs> it was very, very delicious. I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend a visit to Balthasar. Um, if you're ever in the Covent Garden area, I'll leave it linked down below. It's just saying, it was very lovely lunch. So wasn't it? nice. It was yeah. very, like, honestly, that I said to you, good, it was, it? I could have sat there for hours yeah. and just had a little coffee. Um, I would say my standout dish still. It's that cheese soup. Oh yeah, that was so delicious. good. It's like I described it to you, and it's eaten a cloud of cheesy. Yeah, it's just oh so good. What was your favourite? I love the soup actually. Yeah, again <laughs> French really French good. onion soup. Yeah, yeah, and with that like macaroon dessert thing was just delicious. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to plan a visit. And you and said as well, they've got like that three course set menu that's actually really affordable as well. Yeah. So definitely check that out too. But I'm just about to head on the tube. I need to pack. I haven't said in this vlog, we're driving to Plymouth this weekend, so this is going to be a London and Plymouth vlog in one. So we're off to Devon in a couple of hours. Exciting. Woo! So yeah, I need to get, I need to get a wiggle on and get, get things in order. I'll catch you guys when we're home or in the car or whatever. It's been nice to see you, mate, you as too, always. Mate. Have a lovely weekend. You Check too, out Ewan's vlog if it's live, I'll link it down below. Oh, okay, so I'm back from town. This is going to be the quickest little run through of what I bought because I have around 20 minutes to pack a bag, which is ample time so I need to run through this quick um, but I thought I'd show you everything that I picked up in Primark Home so good so so good I said to you and I'm genuinely like so impressed with the things they have in store at the minute so if you are from the UK and you can head to a larger Primark Home do it or if you get the chance to visit the London ones or Birmingham because I think that's the flagship in the UK do it so I picked up this tablecloth and um, so this is 100% cotton tablecloth. It is 152 centimeters by 215 centimeters. So it's a really big one. And it's in this lovely like natural linen color. So I thought that'd be really nice to pop on the dining table if we're having like a special dinner. Um, I just love that it's 100% cotton. It feels so nice. And um, Primark are doing really good things at the moment with their cotton sourcing and they're trying to get it from good sustainable sources. So that's really good. Yeah, I really love the color of that. I picked up these baskets to go in my um, dresser because the ones I've got, have, they're like metal and they're crisscross and they've got holes in them. So the products that I have kind of like slip through them. So this was a pack of two for seven pounds. So I thought they were really nice and they'll be handy for like fragrances or products or that kind of thing. So I'm gonna slot those in the shelves. I also picked up this, which is a kitchen caddy. This was three pounds. I feel like these are just so handy to have. So I might slot oils in these and keep them next to the oven. They're just really good to transport and you can clean and wipe underneath them because they've got like the mesh underneath. So yeah, that was three pounds, which I thought was really good. The next thing are these twisted dinner candles. I just thought these were quite funky. They were one pound 50. And I don't know, I think they're just quite cool. Um, I love a dinner candle, as you know. And for one pound 50, I didn't think they were bad at all. And I just really like the design of them. I just think they're quite cool and something a bit different. The last thing I got is also to go on my dresser. So this is kind of like, I'm gonna use this as a jewelry holder. So for my bracelets and that kind of thing on top of my unit as well. So I'm kind of thinking that they tie in nicely together. This was £3.50. So it's kind of like a like a cup style thing, but I could use it as a bookend as well. Sorry, my cameras went out of focus and then keep them stacked on the other. So yeah, I just thought it was a bit different. They had this in like a white color as well with like oatmeal tones, which is really nice. So yeah, I thought that was a really good little shop. Nothing too, you know, crazy. But bits that I've definitely needed and really affordable. So yeah, very happy. Right, I'm gonna pack my bag now and get a wiggle on. Good morning, happy Friday. I haven't filmed anything since yesterday uh, when we're in London because, gosh, sorry, it's very, the light is very strange. There we go. Um, we're in, we're in Plymouth, we're in Devon, which is lovely, and it's so cold. Like, I've got t-shirt on, uh, this like lovely wool 
zip through a big puffer coat. I should have brought gloves and a hat, but I didn't. You brought a scarf. Well done. Yeah. It's very cool. We've left Maggie at Zara's house with um, Buster, who's been on this channel before, who's their family dog, and their new Labrador puppy, Bort, who I haven't filmed yet because it's just been so crazy. But um, we're having a look at some local charity shops in Plymouth this morning, so I thought I'd film that, and then I will film when we're back because we're going to take them all to the beach so you can see Bort. It's very exciting. Right, let's go. This way. Buster. Come on. Good morning. Sorry, I feel like this vlog's quite disjointed. Um, we've just got some coffees. I, I don't know what it is, but we were so tired yesterday. I think because, I mean, I can't even say I'm tired. Zara drove from our flat in London to Zara's home, it's about five hours. Well, there was, roads were closed. Yeah, too. there was diversions, which obviously is not great. So then it, we didn't get home till like half past 10 on the Friday. And then Maggie wasn't very well on Friday evening and morning. She was sick, so we didn't really have a lot of sleep. So last night we slept so well, but this morning, I think- How many hours we, did we have? I think we had like 10 hours. 10 hours. hours. We at 10, we didn't get up till eight. We've just done a little cheeky Starbucks drive through to get um, some caramel macchiatos, just because like, the caffeine needs to wake us up, because I think we're just so tired, but then we've had such a good sleep that you know when you feel like you've slept I well. Feel like I could have laid in bed all day, not because I was tired, yeah, but just I've been so relaxed. so relaxed. It's just the, the, the pace of life in West Country is something else. It's just so calm and peaceful. But we've got Maggie in the back. She's all strapped in. And then um, we're going to another beach this morning just to try and beat the weather because it's gonna rain this afternoon. So, what's it called, Bobbin Bear? No, absolutely incorrect. No, what's it? Big Bree. Big Bree. Bobbin Bay. Not even close, not even close. Big Bree Beach. Um, don't know if that means anything to anyone who's from Plymouth or the area. But um, yeah, we're gonna take the doggos and have a nice little run around. And then I think we're gonna do some more charity shops today because Zara said there's a couple in um, that we haven't been to. So take you guys along for that as well. So we've came back from the beach and we've come to a garden centre, it's called Ensley Garden Centre um, because I need to get a fern and they've got them here. Look how healthy these look. Ferns are quite tricky to keep alive but um, the room I'm putting it in it is quite bright and uh, uh, $7.99 so I'm going to get one of those. That's gorgeous. They've got loads of little succulents and aloe vera's. A nice little sansevera there as well. Look at the size of that one, that's 125. It's gonna get my little fan, just the one. 
from terracotta pot heaven. I have a pot for this at home, I just need to get a little dish to um, put on the base so it doesn't ruin the table, which I actually picked up from Facebook Marketplace. I'll show you that when we're home back in London, but yeah, this is where we need to be. Let's try and find a base for it. I just said to Zara, this garden centre is absolutely huge. <laughs> it's so big. All I came in for was a little fern, but I'm very tempted. They've got so much. Maggie's doing very well too. They're dog friendly. We are literally dreaming of the day we can buy a barbecue. I mean, I don't think it would be as fancy as this one. This is £1,699, but a little small one would be lovely. <laughs> one of the many things we're looking forward to when we move. Just spotted all of the food produce they've got. They've got so much here. Zara said it's a really, really good kind of loads of like loads of independent ones so we've got some strawberry jam here which I'm gonna get because that looks delicious made with more than one punnet of strawberries I'm gonna grab it it's quite expensive but I think it'll be nice good morning folks good morning so today is Monday and I actually had full intentions of vlogging yesterday when we got back to the flat but it was so dark by the time we got back we were driving and the weather was beautiful in Plymouth but then it just got so like miserable and rainy that by the time we got back it was dark and just gloomy and just like oof. Also Zara's friend Dan is staying with us um, he stayed with us yesterday evening and today because he flies to Sri Lanka tomorrow um, and he's flying from Heathrow so obviously we live in London so we like come stay with us and you can get a train uh, on Tuesday. I thought I'd show you some bits and bobs that are new and um, a couple of them are actually behind us just to like wrap up the vlog because I feel like it's just been very and um, bitty. <laughs> um, so yeah, we actually had a look in some charity shops. We didn't get anything other than books, but let me show you the books. So I think there was a, a British Red Cross. I think that's what you call it. Let me have a look. Yeah, oh yeah, British Red Cross. Um, so we spent a total of five pounds on all of these books. And we got five books. Um, first one is this, which is the Thursday Murder Club. So many people have recommended to read this and I saw a lot of people reading it online by Richard Osman. It's the record brick and number one bestseller. Been reviewed by Shari Lapina, Miriam Keyes, Adam Keir, and they all rave about it. Oh, that was book number one. Book number two was um, Clinker's Journey, and it's from, it's the sequel, so it's the one after the Taoist of Auschwitz, which Zara has read, I haven't, um, but we do have the book, which is this one here, and obviously they had the, the title on the front. We kind of knew that it was gonna be the, the sequel to this, so I'm, um, yeah. Very excited that we have this one. So I have both to read, which is good. <laughs> we also got this, it's called The Girls um, by Lisa Jewell. We have read a couple of Lisa Jewell's books before. The Family, I think it's The Family Upstairs it's by Lisa Jewell, such a good book. If you haven't read it, very recommend. This sounds brilliant. Um, so yeah, we got that one. And then two kind of just like random ones that we just thought looked quite good. Um, this one is called The Nanny. It's another like psychological thriller. Um, this is by Gilly or Jilly McMillan. And then the final one is So Lucky by Dawn O'Porter. Um, Don't judge a woman by her cover. Zara got this one. Um, so yeah, it just, it sounds very good. It's, every woman's story has two sides. Ruby is a mother, she feels like she's failing. Lauren is living the dream, her happiness is fake news. So it's kind of like a two-parter style. And this is only 50p, so yeah. We have lots of books to be enjoying throughout the year. Um, we didn't get anything else in the charity shops just because we don't really need anything. It was just nice to have a look around. However, there are a couple of bits behind us that I thought I'd show you. So this is a new addition to our flat. This little pedestal table here um, was a Facebook Marketplace find. No, it wasn't. It was Gumtree, sorry. When um, we had a bit of a rejig, the coffee table that we had here, we moved into Zara's bedroom. So we kind of needed one for when we sit and read just to rest like tea and stuff on. So um, yeah, it's a lovely pedestal table. I love it. It's got like obviously the three legs. But what I've done is popped a terracotta pot on top and then uh, this is the fern that we picked up from the garden centre which is called um, Endley, Endley Garden Centre. So yeah, it's a really lovely bright fern. I'm hoping it will stay alive because this room's quite brightly lit but it's not in direct sunlight so leave me any fern <laughs> um, housekeeping tips below. I will thoroughly, thoroughly read them and I feel like I'm going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And then we got this in Aldi. Um, it kind of doesn't really go with this area, but we're just popping it here for now, and then we use it on an evening. It is a footstool slash storage box. So we popped our blankets in there, and then it's got like the four gold legs. And it's, yeah, it's just like a practical footstool. So it kind of matches the same color as our cushions. 
So we haven't popped it in this space just because it felt a bit cluttered, but we are just keeping it here for now. And that was, actually it's still online. If it's still online, I can link it down below. It comes in gray and this lovely, like a uh, emerald green. Um, we got it for 9.99, but online I think it's, isn't it like 39.99? 40. 40 pounds. So we saved like 40 pounds. Um, and it's really good quality, it doesn't wobble at all, the legs are like a lovely goldy brass. So yeah, very, very happy with that and I think it kind of just means that we have more of like an L when we pop it up to rest our feet on in an evening. And then lastly, this arrived while we were away. The lovely people over at Waitrose sent a little Valentine's care package which I thought was lovely. Today when I filmed this is Valentine's Day, so I hope you all had a lovely one if you celebrated. <laughs> um, they sent these roses which are absolutely gorgeous. There's some pink ones and some light blush ones and some red ones. And then this is kind of like a breakfast Valentine's Day package. So we've got some um, Dutchy granola, a lovely bottle of Carver. This jam is so good. It's strawberry and pink champagne. I've had that before. It's delicious. We've got some coffee and some tea, some champagne truffles, which just sound gorgeous. Some of the Levantine Table almond and orange cupcakes and some croissants, so we're gonna have these for breakfast now. It's actually such a beautiful day in London. I was saying how horrible the drive was yesterday for you. Oh it was God, literally like, so I felt so bad for Zara because it's, I think it ended up being about five hours, didn't it? Yeah. Was it five hours? Yeah. Roughly about five hours from um, Plymouth, which is in Devon, through to London. And um, it was just rain, constant rain. I don't think there was one point where it wasn't raining. Like, it no. would ease up and I'd be like, I can see. I can see. And then with that, it'd be like, ah. Bang, and threw it back down. So, um, yeah, it was a bit bit of a rotten drive. However, um, we have beautiful sunshine coming through the windows and blue skies in London. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been a bit bitty. I hope it kind of came together in like a consecutive video i'll timestamp and date the clip so it makes sense <laughs> but yeah i really hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching love to you all take care and i'll catch you all very soon bye for now